just a few days ago, Auto Release the Tools next weekly update was released. And as I didn't cover the build before yet, we are going to catch up and take a look at it also. Basically, 0.9.2.1 was centered around further fast feedback and physics adjustments, while the more recent 0.9.3.1 fixed a few inconveniences regarding the fast feedback and introduced changes to the AIS behavior. So let's jump right into details and start off with the fast feedback. In the last few builds of AMS2, new changes were mostly applied to the new default profile in the settings menu, while users were always able to revert back to the old default profile in case they dislike the changes made to the new one. However, as of now, the old default profile is going to be discontinued. This means there are only two fast feedback profiles remaining, new default and custom. The custom option should only be selected if you made adjustments to the config file yourself. Otherwise, the only options open for change are the ones listed in the games menu. Anyway, in one of the previous updates, user introduced tile scrub as an official feature to AMS2, and with the latest patch, the force feedback will now display it correctly. Furthermore, there were also some adjustments to the feeling under braking, as well as improvements to the car's weight shifting. In the following update, those changes were slightly tweaked, and according to Rizzo's statement, quote unquote, there is one last round of fast feedback developments to come before version 1.0, at which point the old default profile will be discontinued, which was conveniently done with the release of 0.9.3.1. The fast feedback is probably finished and ready for AMS2's launch. And honestly, I am very happy with how Reza managed to evolve the fast feedback step by step to a level where I would call it a worthy opponent for Seto Corsa Competition and R-Factor 2. The next chapter of AMS2's previous update focused on improving various aspects of Automobilist 2's physics. First off, multiple overtaking assists such as push to pass or curse were finally added. So make sure to bind a button on your wheel or controller to be able to use them if you drive a car which supports their functionality, like for example the Formula Reza or the V8 stock cars. Next, two interesting adjustments made their way into the game. Reduction of bumpiness on grass and gravel when going off track and reduced range of movement for the driver's head. This leads me to the assumption that I cannot be the only one who thinks the amount of which your head bounces on bumpy tracks or even worse, on grass or gravel is currently way too much. Even though such adjustments are very welcome, they were not nearly enough to get rid of this very issue. Tracks like Brands Hedge or Kualami feel rather annoying than anything else, which is quite sad as I really enjoy them in pretty much every other sim that features them. So hopefully Rizzo will take another look at this as I feel like it really hinders AMS2's overall progress. Anyway, the last but most impactful change was set in the tire physics department as all cars got the individual values tweaked which made a lot of them more consistent and enjoyable. Lastly, Reza completely revised their AI settings and tried to make it more balanced. They now added better functionality to them if they are not on the racing line, which should from now on lead to less first corner traffic jams and improve their overall ability to have battles with human players without instantly crashing into them or spinning themselves out of the race. So far so good, right? But another adjustment seems to have backfired a bit, at least from my own experiences with the new build. Cornering grip for all AI cars has been slightly increased all over the board, which leads to the AI having more realistic speeds in mid to high speed corners. Now this in itself is quite cool, but they somehow made a few tracks undrivable against the AI now, as they can carry insane amounts of speed through some corners, which leads to the following problems. You can't overtake them, as they easily break 30 or more meters later than you, and if you use braking points, which would actually be correct, the AI will straight up crash into your back and spin you out, as they can't react fast enough to someone who is unable to magically gain about 10 tons of downforce in order to match the AI. Now, this is not the case for every corner, but rather for only a few specific ones, which could also point towards a problem with the AI's racing line. So, Let's see what Reza brings to us in the future, as the full release of AMS2 is imminent. Anyway, if you want to be informed about future updates and what they change, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button in order to not miss anything. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.